Hi everybody and Happy New Year. I just wanted to show you my progress in iClone Python that I made this week since the last video. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. First I want to just launch my uh, little Python tool I created. If you noticed in the previous video I just kind of had you launch a script without a graphical user interface but this week I spent a little bit of time and learned how to create a GUI and it was pretty simple. I'll show you the uh, link to the source code is in the video description if anybody wants it. Just to show you the scramble chips, you know, I've already showed this in the previous video, so the exciting part will come down in about a couple of minutes. Let me get to the next button, but I just wanted to show you this. Now, there is a bug, and I'm going to just call it a bug because I'll show you here in a second why I think it's a bug and not that I made a mistake because I thought I made a mistake once and I was wrong that time or vice versa. I thought I was wrong but I was mistaken that time. But it turns out, let's just give this a second. Before we didn't have any progress so getting from 26% to this is something. At least the user gets some feedback that something is happening. The chips are scrambled so all that's great. I will go ahead and show you now. You did notice though that the little tool window closed there and that normally does not happen but it came back and that's what I was going to show you. If that happens it's probably better to just close it. I have found because I just did my little uh, bit of testing. So I'm going to open it back up. Got the chip window just where it's at. I'm going to go ahead and click unscramble chips and you'll notice with the unscramble chips it updates on every single item okay and that is calling the exact same method and I'll post the link on github you can verify this yourself there's only one parameter difference that says reset equals true or false and it defaults to false okay so that all works fine now this is why I think the code is correct and that it's a bug and either I cloned or not say a bug but it's more of a my system can't handle it, you know, just to give an iClone's defense, they might test on super powerful machines, and my machine's a few years old, and I've got a 1080 Ti, which is, I'm going to call it average for now. It's definitely not state-of-the-art, but it's not, you know, people have slower. I had slower when I bought iClone. Okay, but if I click, if I call scramble a second time, you'll see here scramble works. So that's why I'm thinking it's not my code. I'm not making any code changes, and I'm just going to explain to people, you know, the issue and... I don't really, I've tried some, I have update, there's a, according to the documentation that I've read, you can call update, which kind of cues it to, to repaint, but it doesn't repaint, and they, they refrain, they tell us not to call repaint directly, but I, I've tried calling repaint directly, even though they frowned upon it, and it still didn't work, so it, it is what it is. So now, the fun part of this video, so drum roll please. Now we'll click the open shuffle machine, which is why we're here. So we'll go ahead and click this. So I just got this working in the last oh, 10 or 15 minutes is why I wanted to make this short video before I walk my dog and grab some dinner. So just to show you, that is the open shuffle machine. And I will go ahead and now click the uh, anti opposite of that. Or, and just now the one thing you do, uh, if I go too fast here, sometimes it kind of, uh, <clears throat> iClone doesn't like it if I go too fast. So sometimes I give it a few seconds after you call each of these. Don't call like each button. If you click them back to back, sometimes it kind of uh, has some some issues. But there's a go. Now I'm gonna work on getting the like when you call the open. I'll give that just a second. You'll notice this one slight little refresh about right now. Now. Sorry, you, there we go. That little that little bit of mouse cursor, as long as my screen recorder picked that up, but there's always about three seconds after it finishes executing, there's like a screen refresh, and that's where my little hack for how I got it to refresh um, calls this, it just calls play for like one uh, second, or one delta time, which is one frame. Anyway, and if I call it, I'll just call open shuffle machine again just to show you it seems to you know that's what I'm going to work on getting the technically the light should come on first and then the door should open and then the little crane should pop up but that's our little uh, that was my short video just wanted to say happy new year and the code is on github I'll post the link in the description 
you can you know download it let me know if you had any uh, questions if you have ways to improve it believe me <clears throat> excuse me i am all ears to this i'm very new to you know some things i think i know a little bit about like c sharp and sql server by now but i learned something new every day so i'm found i'm very uh very open to suggestions if somebody knows a better way i like to like to hear it all right happy new year cheers